Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thought we could get some good work in today. You know, uh, situational day. Uh, got a, got a chance to put guys, uh, you know, in some some challenging challenging places. You know, just continuing to kind of the, the emphasis of the week and uh, you're working through the response of, uh, of those situations. Still got you know, things we got to clean up, but uh, you know, all in all, I think it's been productive. You know, looking back at the numbers yesterday, just from the workload and uh, you know the intensity of what guys you know brought throughout practice. You know, really good numbers, one of the top top numbers that we've had uh, you know, throughout the course of a practice. So I mean. The, the work is there. You know, we just have to make sure that the details, you know, is are, are continuing to improve, and the application of those corrections uh, and, and things that we have to get better at that they're showing up. So, uh, continue, uh, continue push with that, and uh, take questions. You like some of the competition you're seeing? In drill? Uh, there's, you know, there's competition not only with uh, offense, defense. You know, we're playing against some good on good, but I mean also you know, within positions. Um, there's a lot of guys that are that are competing for for playing time and opportunities, and uh, you know, whether it's old guys or young guys, I mean, it's it's, it's where we are. So you know, we need to see consistency in, in performance and action, and you know, see those guys uh, really taking to, to things they're being asked to do. How did Marie Smith and Robert Scott do today? We got a little bit more. No, I mean, they got more a little more work today. Um, you know, we're, uh, I think it's trending in the right the right way, but you know, obviously we still got some more days to see how, how their bodies respond. Um, and we'll, Get a better sense of that as we get close to the game. You mentioned guys competing. How's Amari Cooper? Oh, he's he's one of the, like he's one that directly is in my thoughts. Uh, you know, it just uh, you know, it keeps getting better. You're know, a true freshman. You're still trying to figure out some of the things um, that that uh, to be able to to do. I mean, he missed some time in fall camp, which kind of set him back. But uh, I love that kid. I think he's got a great future in front of him. Um, he's definitely one that's challenging. I mean, we got to you know, we got to be, play better at that spot. Uh, that's something that we're continuing to uh, to push, and uh, you know, and he's a guy that's, that's challenging for some time. You know, Kenny mentioned like when things are struggling, people outside want change, but you guys have to kind of stick to who you are. Um, are you able to, to install new sort of things in season and have it be pretty seamless? I mean, he talked about there's certain things that you guys could do, whether it's running bunch formations, things like that to help receivers. I mean, are those new things. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, that's, I mean, that's you know, each week, each week we'll have something for the game plan. I mean, you want to, you know, throughout my experience, you know, just, and it's really offense, defense, and everything. If, if you're if you're wholesale changing throughout the course of a week, I mean, it's it's hard to have um, real production. And now, you know, you look back at, at the, throughout the course of games and you see a variety of looks that you might see, um, you know, from a, a, an offense or from a defense. Uh, you have to you have to be able to know how to fix it. And you have to be able to know how to adjust, and uh, you know, that's something that, you know, when you just wholesale change. But I mean, there's little tweaks that you'll have, and specific things to a game plan uh, that you want to be able to implement. And we're always going to continue to do that. So uh, you know, we're, we're working our way through that process, and uh, you know, I, feel, I feel good about uh, you know, what we're doing. Can you remember any time in your career, like I mean, Kenny talked about, you know, Marcus Freeman went away from everything he did at Cincinnati that you guys prepared for, and Wake Forest went away from who they are. Teams going away from what their identity is, like in a matchup. Do I, have a, do I remember a time in my career that people have done that? Just done like 180s on what you guys have thought I mean, was coming. Yeah, I mean, I don't. That, that's for me. I mean, that's not. It's not that. It's football. That's what I love about football, and that's what I love about going through. And you know, there were things that uh, you know, in each week that you you have a thought of what you're going to see. You have a plan, but so I, I mean, I never get into the deal of. Oh, well, I want to prepare our guys for. You know, the, the tips that we think we have or that we think that we know or how we want to attack somebody, you know, we want their eyes to be starting in the right direction when it changes. Now, when you're dealing with inexperience and you're doing guys that haven't seen a whole lot of things, that's where the challenge comes in. But the, 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 I know you mentioned yesterday about concepts. So you, once you learn a concept, you know, offensive line, defense, defensive line, secondary, wherever that is, you know, throughout your growth, you have – when you see all the different looks that you can have, you have more confidence in where that, where, where that's going to go, and how you can process the information and, and the uh, adjustment. So, I love that part of it. And I mean, there were things last week that you know, they did more than what they had shown, but we'd seen it. I mean, it's not like they threw up something totally new. First game, there were some new things that you know that showed up, but it's still about it being able to adapt to it. And I think we adapted last week. We didn't execute. Uh, as well as we needed to, and there's some situations that we'd like to probably have different calls, and all those things. We're all in it, but I love that part. Of it. Coach, uh, in a situation like that where they're doing something different, you want to adapt, but you know you have freshmen that that's, you're dealing with. 
that's and that's where the challenges come in. Another when you when you have guys that haven't seen a whole lot and when you see in different looks, you have to you know you also got to know the strengths of your guys and maybe areas that they that they just need to continue to develop. And so you, there's a fair balance as a coach of what are we going to to throw on guys within the course of a game, not trying to, to, for, to, to force them to play slower. And there were a couple things that, you know, second quarter we made an adjustment on the sideline and you know, next series we we called the play and we did not execute it. And it was turned into being a negative play. And that is something that you just, as a coach, you're, I mean, you, know, you, you see it, you want to be able to to attack it, but you also you got to be able to play in balance to what your guys are confident in being able to do, not trying to ask them to do too much. And that's another part of things that you you reflect back on as uh, and you say, well, with all the right intentions, as a coach, did you put your guys in the best position to achieve success? And that's that's the continued growth that we need. And, and you know, as our team is young, and as we have guys that are in different places, different different spots, I mean, that's something that we're going to continue to evolve to, and we're going to have we're going to have more confidence to be able to do that. And uh, you know, it's just uh, that's the, that's one of the challenges, but one of the great things about football is, and, and one of the great things about coaching is to be able to go through that process. With some of the shuffling on the offensive line, are you seeing good responses from guys who maybe are getting opportunities? That... I, I am, and uh, you know, even today, like you know, Lloyd Willis, a young young offensive tackle, like. You're seeing confidence in him. You know he's getting he's getting a lot of two reps. He's got some one reps. I mean guys that are being pushed, you know, pushed, uh, you know, into asked ask to do things that they're, you know, maybe comfortable or not comfortable doing. But you see the the, the, the growth through throughout the work. And uh, I mean we're playing. You know Darius Washington is. You know, I think he's still considered a redshirt freshman, but he's you know a couple years a couple years into it. Uh, you know, seeing the the versatility that he's showing. On the offensive, I played three positions on on Saturday. That that was not by choice. We don't want to do that, right? But you know, at the end of the day, he's he's able to go in there and you know just his football knowledge, the things he's done. He played center. He played both tackle spots. Uh, you know, I, I like the growth I've seen from him. And it, but you know, it is challenging when you're doing that just to be able to play as fast as as you can. And so you know, we need that continuity to come back. We need to, to um, you know to continue to elevate the competition there. But um, you yeah, know, that's. Some of those things are in our control, some of those are out, out of our control, but you know how these guys are approaching the work is that's what I'm pleased with. Well, no, I, I want more. Oh, sorry. What? I know is willingness to run the ball for McKenzie, is that something that's gonna be growing as it soon as it goes on? Is that an important thing for, for the offense? Whoever's playing quarterback, yeah, really. Right. So you're saying you're asking if he is willing or not willing. More of a willingness to, to run when things are downfield for him. Well, he has done that. Like, I mean like he's he has. So like there's, I, I mean, he's going to take what he sees. Uh, Jacksonville State, third down and seven. Everything yeah, was, cl okay. was was cloudy. He pulled it down, made a guy miss, and got a first down. So like, I don't think he's not willing to run. And so he will probably take what they give us a, as much as he can. And then, you know, if it calls for his feet, then we'll utilize our feet. Right, thanks, guys.